Hi, I'm Curtis Bowdy, and this is The Scope of Science, and today we're going to talk about 10 fantastically freaky facts about fungi. Starting with number one, fungi have over 28,000 different sexes. So humans have male, female, they have 28,000 different variations of that kind of stuff. To give you a sense of how weird their life cycles are, consider this one. This is cedar apple rust, and it looks like this. It could also look like this. I took this photo and I'm pretty proud of it. Or it could look like this. So this is on an apple tree, and this is on a cedar tree. And consider that for a moment. That means that this species has to have cedar trees and apple trees living in the same area in order to survive. Also means that it has two very different life stages on those different hosts. And it also means that somehow it has to get from the cedar tree to the apple tree. And it does that via the air with a very different life stage. It has like spores that go into the air. Freaking weird. Number two, dog penises, or at least mushrooms that look like dog penises. This is actually named mutinous caninus, which is Latin for penis dog. And if you think it looks pretty gross and phallic, well, you're not the only one. Henrietta Eddie Darwin, which is Charles Darwin's daughter, she thought that they were basically the scum of the earth, and she made it her own personal mission to eradicate them. She went out into the forest with a special stick and a basket and would collect them, put them in her basket, and bring them all the way back to her house, where she would burn them when her servants weren't around, because God forbid her servants see these dog penis mushrooms. The funny thing about that is that a mushroom is the fruiting body of a fungus. It is the part that reproduces. So by carrying those mushrooms around through the forest, she was actually helping them reproduce by spreading their spores. Number three, the largest organism in the world is arguably a fungus, specifically a honey fungus, and it covers 3.8 square kilometers in Oregon. The mushroom is the fruiting body, but the below ground structure is the majority of the fungus. We call it mycelium, and it's kind of like the roots of a fungus, and they can be pretty big. Number four, fungi make it rain. The spores that leave a mushroom can go up into the air, act as tiny little spots for water molecules to start to form around. And as those water molecules get heavy enough, they fall from the sky as rain. Minute Earth did a really great video on this, please check it out. Number five, that one time they made an entire village in France go crazy. In 1951, there was a town in France that had a bunch of fields that were infected by ergot fungus, fields of rye and wheat. And now that fungus creates a similar type of chemical as to LSD that can cause people to hallucinate in horribly nasty ways. And so when those fields were harvested and made into bread, an entire town of around 250 people were affected by this. And in fact, the entire town went crazy and it caused seven people to die. Number six, some species glow in the dark. We don't really know why they do this, but we know that there's a lot of different species of fungus that will glow in the dark. Whether that's to attract animals that will spread its spores, or if it's some sort of a defense mechanism, we don't really know yet. But either way, we do know that it looks really cool. Number seven, fungi zombies. There's funguses that will spread their spores into the air, and those spores land on insects, and those insects get infected by the spores that grow towards their brain and control what they do. There's a number of species that'll infect ants, and it causes those ants to climb up and cling on to a branch, and then they die there. And those funguses grow through their bodies and create these huge spore spikes that release spores so that other ants can be infected on the ground below. Now, this has been co-evolving along with these ant colonies for so long that ants now know that if an ant starts acting a little bit weird, they better remove that ant from the colony, and in fact they'll grab them, carry them far, far away, where the ants hopefully won't infect the rest of the colony. Number eight, shaggy mane mushroom. One of my favorites. It is delicious, but obviously don't go picking wild mushrooms unless you're with a professional that knows what they're doing. 
This one is also really weird because if you leave it out for too long, this is in the morning and this is 12 hours later. <laughs> it turns into a pile of goop. It is a type of inky cap and the ink is a bunch of spores that allow for it to spread and multiply. Number nine, fungi that catch and eat worms. This same fungus is one of many that catch nematodes. In the mycelia below ground, they have little structures that sense when a nematode, which is kind of like a small worm, they sense when it's moving by. And as it moves right in the right spot, it constricts around the nematode, captures it, holds it there, and slowly grows mycelia into it to digest it. Number 10, beer. Yeast is a type of fungus that will allow for us to make bread and for us to make beer. And in fact, you can use the same species of yeast Saccharomyces cerevisiae to make either. And that's pretty crazy because if you are making bread, it's in an oxygen rich environment. We call that aerobic. So that yeast can breathe oxygen. Great. And in doing so, it actually produces more carbon dioxide, which allows for your bread to expand. But if you grow it without the presence of oxygen, you're growing it anaerobically, then by doing that, it actually makes more ethanol and it survives. It likes either way of living, but that's not all. The same yeast that we use to make beer can be found in the air and on our skin or in your beard. And in fact, there's brewers that will select yeast out of their beards and make beer with it. I really like fungus and I'll probably make another video about them at some point because I haven't had a chance to talk about this wild purple mushroom that I found or this wild green mushroom that I found or that one that I found that looked like brains and tasted like chicken. It was delicious. For now, if you could like or dislike this video, that would give me some great feedback in making my next videos and I'd really appreciate it. If you really liked what you saw here, you can click here to subscribe for more from the scope of science. And thanks so much for watching.